What's happening guys, Mike here from Home of Fitness. Today's topic, I wanna to talk to you guys about maximizing your every single workout and pretty much every single set. Okay, you're gonna do this through what's called a mind to muscle connection. Now you can stand there all day long and not be tensing and try to think about the muscles, tense the crap out of it, but it's not gonna work. Okay, what you need to do is when you're in the gym, and I'm talking about when you're actually working out, to actually really think about what's happening in each individual set and exercise and every single muscle cell that you're using. Now, what are the benefits of actually doing this? Okay, not only are you going to increase the form, you're actually going to think about the way you're moving in such a way that your form is going to be spot on. Right, so whether it be slowing down or speeding up, whichever way, as long as you can concentrate on the exact muscle, you're going to increase your form, which is also going to decrease the risk of injury, which is a massive one. All right, so if you hurt yourself, you're not training anyway. Now, not only that, the benefits of actually thinking about or focusing on each individual muscle and set an exercise, you're actually increasing your focus muscle. Okay, so there's certain different types of uh, chemicals in the brain called myelin. It's actually going to, it's kind of like tissue that's actually building up when you actually think about something in particular. Now, this actually literally could come down to you focusing on your muscles or you focusing on an assignment while you're typing it out on your laptop, focusing on exactly what you need to be writing out. Those little myelin muscles are also building up, all right? So not only that, it's kind of like a meditative process. You're actually meditating while you work out. And believe it or not, that's actually why I got into lifting myself. I found it such a meditative process. Uh, it helped me get through crap that I was going through in my younger years, uh, in my teens. Now, I didn't even realize it back then, but that must have been the reason why I enjoyed it so much. Just getting into the gym, having to concentrate on something so hard to get my maximum out of the whole workout, it just made me zone in, forget everything else, and just focus on what I was doing. Now, tip number one is I want you to think about using the muscle, not the weight. I want you to almost forget about the weight. Think about the weight as almost like a utensil. It's an object. Yes, you're moving it. Yes, it's a certain amount of weight. Uh, but I almost want you just to think about the muscle that you're contracting. Think about the, the weight as a tool, a mere tool, okay? So let's take bicep, for example, because it's such an easy one. Uh, so let's say we're doing a bicep curl. And as you're curling, all I want you to do is focus on the muscle. Now, when you get to the top, I want you just to squeeze the living crap out of it. Okay, so what's that? what that is going to do is actually connect your mind to your muscle. I want you to focus on your bicep. Put your brain into the muscle that you're working. Even as you're releasing, keep that tension on. If it's a light enough weight and it feels too light, you should be able to tense your bicep anyway. If you're able to do this, you're able to get a proper mind to muscle connection because you're actually tensing and focusing on that individual body part. Okay, when it starts getting heavier, it's going to be easier because you need to actually recruit those muscles. So the ability to actually think about and use the muscles that you're thinking about is going to allow you to gain strength that you didn't even know you had. Now to give you a quick example, if you're not actually picking this up or you're not actually believing in what I'm saying, a good case is think about me running through a hallway and picking up a bag, okay? I don't know what the weight is, but I've been told there is 50 kilos in the suitcase. Now if I think about 50, that's pretty heavy. Now just imagine if there's nothing in the suitcase, it was actually light. What I'm thinking is I'm actually going to have to use a lot of muscle and recruit a lot of muscle to pick it up to be able to still keep my, uh, my momentum going. Now I can pretty much guarantee what you're thinking is going to happen and it's exactly right. I'm gonna run through and I'm gonna pretty much use the force that I would as if that 50 kilo was in the bag and I'm probably gonna throw it through the roof. Now the exact opposite, uh, if I got told that there was nothing in the bag and there was 50 kilos in the bag, I'd just about use no muscle recruitment and I'd probably rip my arm out of my socket, or probably not, but 
you can see where I'm going, okay? So this is exactly the point I'm trying to make. It's all in the brain. Literally what you're using in the gym as weights, they're merely tools, that's all they are. Tip number two is what I love to give to a lot of clients. What I say to them is I want you to aim to 12, but I don't want you to get to 12. And they look at me like, what? Aim for 12, don't get to 12. So whether or not you're decreasing the tempo of the exercise, so you're actually going slower, or you're tensing a lot more at the top, uh, you're using a lighter weight, a heavier weight, whatever it is, usually a lighter weight, because I start by giving my clients a lighter weight and I actually tell them this, because they can get to 12 so easy, I want them to fail before that. So what they actually start doing is they start implementing ways to make themselves struggle hence squeezing the muscle more, actually getting that mind to muscle connection. Now have to think about that next time. Aim to 12, don't get to 12. This is a pretty funny one, but look at your muscles, okay? So it's not an ego thing when you're standing in the mirror and you're looking at your muscles, even though you think it is, I know your muscles look great and you're admiring what you've worked on, but honestly, if you actually look at the individual muscles that you're using, uh, just like anything else, I'm sure if you were cutting some paper away and you weren't looking, you wouldn't have as much focus on the paper uh, that you were cutting, now would you? If you're looking exactly where it was, then I'm sure you could focus a lot more uh, in doing a proper job and cutting on a straight line. The exact same goes for working out and actually working those muscles. If you can actually look at the muscle, you're able to get a better mind to muscle connection. The next step is really warming up with an extremely light weight and actually failing, okay? So just like I said before, aim to get to 12, but don't get to 12. Well, you're actually going to utilize different ways and techniques to actually make yourself fail. So get to the mind to muscle connection to squeeze the crap out of the muscle with the light weight, which is going to enable you to recruit a lot more fibers within the muscle. So what that's going to do is actually prepare all the fibers and the cells for the heavier weight that you're going to lift, all right? So warm up with the lighter weight, squeeze the crap out of the muscle. Okay, and last but not least is actually pinpointing the muscle through touch. Whether it be hitting the muscle, not too hard so that you actually bruise, that'd be a, a bit stupid, but uh, actually prodding, massaging, so actually getting your fingers in there. Uh, sometimes I actually use pins and I'll actually, while I'm working out, there's a certain technique uh, where you can actually push a pin into the individual muscles. I keep going back to the biceps because it's an easy one to relate to. So you actually pin uh, the point that you want to work the most and actually flex. Now that is, it's going to hurt, trust me, but the amount of recruitment that you're gonna get from that individual muscle is absolutely crazy. So, whether or not you're actually doing it while you're moving or actually activating the muscle, uh, totally up to you. So you can do it while you're actually doing the exercise or you can do it before. Massage, stick it in, hold it there for a little bit, maybe count to 20 with it in there. Uh, and yeah, see how you go. Let me know, hit us up on Facebook. Look guys, I really hope this helps. Getting the mind to muscle connection has pretty much made every single one of my workouts almost the best workouts I've had. So almost every single time. Unless I'm having an off day because I can't think straight and I can't focus, that is literally the only time that I can't actually get one of my best workouts in. But honestly, Every single workout is about mind to muscle connection, especially in the weights room. Now, I hope you guys can pretty much implement all these steps. I bet you your next workout will blow your freaking mind. I hope this helps, guys. Please feel free to jump across to our Facebook page, give that a subscribe, and even jump across to our YouTube channel, getting updated every single week to help you on your weight loss and fitness journey. Love you guys to bits, and guess what? I'll see you guys in the next video.